The Shoreline East train carries passengers to the shoreline towns between New Haven and New London. Two train tracks pass through the Brantford station. However, the station uses only the one track that's adjacent to the current station platform. Trains going east and west must be scheduled so they don't use this track at the same time. Right now, this doesn't have a significant effect on train schedules, but if the population using the Brantford station grows, it would. Under the auspices of Amtrak, the Connecticut Department of Transportation has begun to construct station houses on both sides of the tracks. When the construction is done, the station will look a lot like the Guilford train station. As you can see, from each side of the Guilford station, there's a stairway that leads to a corridor that passes over the tracks to another stairway on the other side. There are also elevators on each side to assist people with baggage or people who do not wish to climb up and down stairs to get to the other side. The first phase of building the new Brantford station is to prepare building foundations on the north side of the tracks. Because there is an underground pond and stream on that side, special steps need to be taken to ensure that the foundations are firm and stable. In order to protect workers from accidental injury, this work needs to be done during the night when no trains are passing through the station. Here you can see tubes being carried down the track by a front loader. To construct stable foundations, these tubes, which are about 8 inches in diameter and anywhere from 5 to 53 feet long, are pounded deep into the ground by mechanical sledgehammers, then filled with cement. While the cement is still wet, long metal rods are inserted into them. When the cement hardens around the rods, they make very stable anchors for building supports. Automobile access to and from the new station house will be from Kirkham Street. A two-lane driveway will lead down to what's called a kiss and ride area of the station. There, drivers will let off their passengers, then loop back onto Kirkham Street. As of November 2013, about 5% of the $7 million allocated for this construction was spent. It is planned for the project to be completed in the spring of 2015.